Advent of Code is an advent calendar of small programming puzzles for a variety of skill sets and skill levels that can be solved in any programming language one likes. In this year's Advent of Code, Day 8 had a pretty interesting puzzle called Seven Segment Search. This puzzle deals, as the name suggests, with seven segment displays. The signals which control the segments have been mixed up on each display. The submarine is still trying to display numbers by producing output on signal wires, but those wires are connected to segments randomly. For each display, you watch the changing signals for a while, make a note of all 10 unique signal patterns you see, then write down a single four-digit output value. Using the signal patterns, you should be able to work out which pattern corresponds to which digit. The puzzle's detailed description can be found in the video's description. I have seen many different solutions, from brute forcing all possible wirings to making educated guesses about every digit and strategically using them to find other digits. Despite that, the method I'm going to show today is fingerprinting. Specifically, we are going to fingerprint each wire. A fingerprint must have two properties. First, it has to be unique for each wire. This way, we can use them to identify the wire. Second, it has to be invariant under conditions unknown by us. So in practice, our fingerprint must stay the same if we shuffle the wires or the digits. Finding such a variable that matches all conditions is almost impossible to do out of the blue. So instead of just trying to find a variable that fits all of them, we will find a variable that matches one of them. We can then see if we can adapt this variable to follow the other conditions. A variable that is invariant under rewiring is easy to find. Just count the number of active wires for each digit. This variable is not unique for each wire, as it is the same for all wires and digits. We can fix this quite easily. Let's only include the digits where our specific wire is on. Our last condition is invariance when we shuffle the digits. We can bypass this condition by sorting our results at the end. If we sort at the end, the starting order does not matter. For example, consider the wire that should connect to the top segment. This wire is on for the digits 0, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. For each of these numbers respectively, 6, 5, 5, 5, 6, 3, 7, and 6 segments light up each time. So if we sort these numbers, our fingerprint becomes 35556667. Another example is the wire from the bottom left. This wire lights up for only four digits, being 0, 2, 6, and 8. For each of these numbers respectively, 6, 5, 6, and 7 wires light up. So, like before, our fingerprint equals 5667. We apply the same procedure to the five other segments, getting a unique fingerprint for each wire. In practice, we do this calculation twice, once for the shuffled and once for the unshuffled system. This way, we can match each shuffled segment with an unshuffled one. So then, we can just unshuffle our digits and read out our four-digit display.